Emergency Manager Darnell Early wielding his power tonight by limiting those of a Flint City Councilman who was recently arrested on suspicion of drunken driving. NBC 25's Jane Park joins us in the studio right now with breaking details on this story. Jane? Well, Bill, the executive order comes a week after Darnell Early called for Eric May's resignation following May's arrest November 30th for alleged drunken driving and drug possession. Mays is facing misdemeanor charges in that incident, and this newest order from the emergency manager restricts his powers as an elected city official. Under the order, Mays can no longer have direct communication with city staff. He can only communicate with the emergency manager by email and must refer first ward residents to the city clerk. Mays is also no longer allowed to use the city hall parking garage and is only allowed access to City Hall during regular business hours and council meetings. Mays tells us early informed him of the order during a phone call this morning. I feel sad that the emergency manager and or the leadership has not really talked to me. They're just throwing out orders. Between me and my constituents, we might have a class action lawsuit. This is unprecedented and it's based upon fraud that has not been investigated. Well, Early said in a statement, this is a very serious matter. Without this action, it's my opinion that the issue surrounding Councilman Mays will be a distraction and therefore will interfere with my ability to manage the city. The city cannot afford these types of distractions to our efforts of addressing the many important challenges that confront the community. The order states Eric Mays violated his responsibilities as a councilman by being verbally abusive and intimidating to city staff and has a history of disruptive behavior. It does not mention Mays arrest. Early declined to comment further on the order. In the meantime, Mays says he will follow the directives and continue to serve his constituents. Bill.